everyone welcome back to my channel and if you are new welcome my name is Meg and today my horoscope is picking my makeup I definitely got this idea from Mikey Glamagor I will have her video linked down below she said there was a few other people that have done this video idea as well and I think that it's just something that's really fun because also like Mikey I am a child of growing up in the 90s, so I had like a base idea of astrology and horoscopes and all of that stuff, but it's something I want to get more into, so this is a little bit more of a dive in, if you will. Before we get started, if you are interested in astrology and learning more about that, check out my other channel, Crystal Corner, linked down below. I will have a description of what that channel is, and I will definitely be talking about this as more of a topic over there. So I already have my primer on. I quickly threw my brows on. I will fix them up and define them a little bit more as we go with our makeup. I also put my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk on my waterline. I have my Morphe primer on, so we are good to start with eyes. I think I was able to find pretty much all the sources that she used in her video for information, so editing make, remember to link that in the description box. All right, so to get started, I am an Aries which basically the main thing I gather from Aries is that we are stubborn, which I can 100% attest to. My husband is also an Aries, so it, it's fun sometimes. She agrees. Luna is right on the cusp of being an Aquarius, so I'm gonna have to look up with that more and see if Aquariuses are sassy because that is definitely her main personality trait. All right, so let's look up some information. Luna has decided to leave the room, so. Basically, the other takeaways from Aries is that the color is red and I detest, the, oh, she's back. I detest the color red and I am a fire sign. I definitely like to think of myself as more a cool tone person, so I feel like I'm gonna struggle a little bit with this makeup challenge. So, Element Fire, Quality Cardinal, color red, day Tuesday, I was born on Saturday. Ruler is Mars, of course. Greatest overall compatibility, Libra and Leo, which is interesting because my mom is a Libra and I definitely feel like we butt heads all the time. And my one, and I dated a Leo once and it was not fun. So I don't know how much I agree with this. I also took, also years ago I worked in a library and this astrology book came in and I wish now I could remember what it was. I know what it looks like. It's like a really small red book and it uh, had a compatibility quiz in it, and it had all the information from the different signs for men, for women, and then um, basically finding your best quality mate. And I remember when I took it, it said that I would best be matched with an Aries, and I was just so stumped on that for days because I was like, I don't know anybody with around the same birthday as me. Like, I don't know an Aries. Like, that is just so weird to be an Aries and like be told that my best love match is also an Aries. How does that work? Wouldn't we both be really stubborn? Wouldn't we clash a lot? And years later, it just so happens that I start dating my husband. We got married and I feel like we are soulmates and we make being two Aries work great, okay? It also says that my lucky numbers are 1, 8, and 17. I always felt like 7 was my lucky number. However, I recently took the numerology test calculator and it says my lucky number is 1. So I also feel like I've been seeing that a lot and drawing it lately. Like an, I went to an event where I had to pick a card and it was a one. So universe is all tying in together here. So my strengths is that I'm courageous. I don't know so much about that. <laughs> Determined. I am. Confident. At times. Enthusiastic. Optimistic. Definitely honest and passionate. I agree with most of that. Weaknesses include impatient. I am so impatient. I say all the time I really need to learn patience and everybody around me is like, yeah, you do. Moody. <laughs> yeah. Short-tempered. I just don't have patience for stupidity, okay? 
Um, impulsive and aggressive. I wouldn't say I'm aggressive at all. I guess maybe when I'm in an argument and I'm passionate about it, I don't back down. But I wouldn't say I'm an aggressive person and I am definitely an impulse buyer. So Aries like comfortable clothes. I'm always in sweatpants or come in some kind of stretchy pants. So it's right on with that. Taking on leadership roles. I definitely agree. I'd rather be a leader than just go along in a group. Physical challenges, individual sports. I play tennis in high school, so. Aries dislikes inactivity. I get bored if I'm sitting around too long, so that's true. Delays, very true. And work that does not use my talents. Who would like work if they're not using their talents? So now that we have a brief insight, I'm gonna go more in depth to this at the end of the tutorial. So if you're here for the makeup, you get to see it. But if you want to learn more about Aries, wait until I finish the tutorial and we will definitely have a talk about this because I'm so fascinated by it. And I also looked up the creepiest thing about you, which Mikey did in her video, which I absolutely love. And I found some color schemes. I couldn't exactly find on horoscope.com what color Aries should wear. I'm guessing it's red. I've been told by my spiritual guide there. I've been told by my like holistic healing person that I go to that red is a power color for me, which I love living in neutrals, white, black, gray, all day, every day. All right, white and pink help calm them down, but it's best to avoid black. In general, rust, saffron, golden yellow, and mustard are the colors that will instantly appeal to an Aries person. Pink, cream, black, and white really suit your temperament, but you just told me to avoid black. Avoid wearing red as it affects you negatively, but you can opt for maroon. This is interesting because if I do wear a color, it's like a blush pink color, mustard, olive, I would even dare say maroon if I had to go that bold, but I like more of like this subtle, natural, I guess more musty colors for clothes. So we can keep that in mind for our color palette for today's look. And here is the color spectrum for Aries. So a lot of red, but there is some blue in there. So I'm thinking maybe a smoked out lower lash line with some fun blue and maybe we can do like more of a maroon up top Ooh, and do a cut crease with some yellow okay i think i know what i'm going for here so because i'm going to be using a lot of color i think i'm going to be going back and forth between my take me back to brazil palette if i need any brighter pops of color but I think I'm gonna be reaching into the James Charles palette, which I know I did a whole week on it and I said I need a break from it, but honestly, I don't really have any other palettes with colors that I precisely may need to go for. So, this is probably gonna be the main one for today. Right, stick with me here because I'm going to be jumping around. So first, what I'm going to do is take the white shade in the James Charles palette, where's my big fluffy brush? On this big fluffy brush, and I'm just going to set my base. All right, stick with me here because we're gonna be jumping around for a few palettes. So this is the Kristen Lee Ann and Urban Decay palette. And I'm just taking the color 1212, which is like a peachy coral color, and I'm gonna use that as the transition. So I'm gonna blend this pretty high up and I'm gonna do a similar technique to what I did in my Christmas holiday party makeup that uh, wasn't a typical gold eye red light. So if you wanna check it out, it'll be listed up above. So now what I'm doing is that I'm holding this brush downward and I'm flicking up. So while I kept this shape pretty round, I also want to have the product go up and out, so I might just take a little bit more down over here and start doing that. So it's faint, but we're just starting to build that outer flick. I don't want it to be too prominent, so that's why I'm fine with it being faint, because I just want it to be like a little after like swoop up. Next, we are going to get into some girl by which I mean, I think it totally speaks to an Aries attitude because 
once we loyal to you and you do something to backstab us a certain amount of times, there just comes a point where we just cut you off. We say, girl, bye. So in honor of that, I'm going in with girl, bye, which is a nice brownie cranberry shade. I guess almost maroon like some may say. And I'm just going to put this a little bit lower than that transition color and I'm going inner corner to outer corner. I mean, I definitely think that that is honestly the most relatable thing to being an Aries is our loyalty to people. And once you do something to like screw us over, it is over for you. We have zero fricks to give and we will just cut you out. Which is also a little bit of a fault because I feel like once I decide I want somebody out of my life or like I want nothing to do with them anymore, etc, etc, it makes things complicated because I just get to a point where it's like you've hurt me so bad that there's no going back. So like I legit want nothing to do with you. Um, so I guess maybe that's where the aggressiveness comes from. So now I'm picking up a Real Techniques detailer brush and I'm going in with the shade Unique or Boutique. <laughs> Must be because I'm just so unique, right? So I am just going to start packing this on the outer corner, building it up a little bit into the crease area. Then you can even start to flick this out slightly and we can work on blending it. And I'm just gonna bring this around to the inner corner and then go in with the flippy brush and blend it out. So while we're here, let's go into the creepiest thing about you. I love that this exists. So it says that Aries is obsessed with death. And when I first saw that, I was like, this is 100% true. I am always obsessing over death and like how terrified I am of it. And I'm just like, oh my God, like, when am I going to die? Is it going to hurt? Like getting old just seems like it really sucks. Like I'm just so fearful of it. So it's just something that I'm always thinking about. So when I saw that, I was just like, oh. it says multiple articles cite that Aries is obsessed with death. And I wanted to know why. It turns out that aside from being one of the four zodiac signs related to birth, interesting, Aries is also one of the three death signs. Ooh! Aries represents death through fire. I don't know. I mean, I hope that doesn't mean that I'm going to die in a fire. That's terrifying. That's literally my biggest fear is like, like suffocating, like, so like drowning, some kind of suffocation or like burning to death. Like that just all sounds like drawn out and painful. And it just terrifies me. Like I feel like less and less people are just dying peacefully in their sleep. So I'm just scared. <laughs> it's depressing to talk about. Um, so Aries, if you spend what feels like an inordinate amount of time thinking about your demise, the death of others or death of the planet, which I do think about, I'm like, is there even really going to be a planet when I'm older? Like, am I, are we, are those of us in our late twenties, early thirties, just not going to live out to old age? Hi, my name is Meg and I have anxiety. <laughs> It is completely normal for you. The good news is that the underlying meaning of death by fire in Aries is ultimately a sign of purification. And if you can't stop thinking about death, perhaps it's time to think some purifying practices like yoga and meditation. Namaste. Oh my God. I have been meditating and doing yoga lately. So, um, yeah, that's, oh, that's so wild. All right, so I feel like we have like the dark part of the red in and I wanna add a little pop of color of red red in. So I'm going to go ahead and take the shade, you're kidding. And we're gonna see how this goes, but I'm gonna start to put it here on half of my lid. And I think I will use it as a transition color once we cut the crease. All right, so I'm going to leave it at this for now. I'm going to cut the crease off camera and then BRB to keep working. Actually, I lied. I'm going to take a little more. I'm actually going to dip into Benny, which is a pretty dark brown color. And I'm just going to use this just to deepen up the outer corner and crease just a hair. Just to have a little bit more depth. 
and then I'm gonna blend that out and then cut the crease. All right, cut, crease is cut. And now I'm going back into your kidding and I'm just gonna kind of use this to blend out the concealer edges. I also pat the outer edge of the concealer with my finger to help blend it in too. So I think I'm gonna try this yellow right here in the BH palette because it just looks a hair bit brighter than the yellow in the James palette. So we'll see. So I'm just taking another stiff brush and I'm gonna pack this on top of the concealer. When you're working with brighter colors, you can get a lot of kick up and fallout. So that is why I definitely like doing my eyes first. Now I'm going to try to lighten things up a little bit with this lighter yellow green color. Back into the James palette, I'm going to go in with 518 and you're kidding and just kind of work on transitioning the yellow into the red a little bit better. Then now I'm just going to go back into my blending brush, blend these edges a little bit. So now I have Naked Cosmetics. This is Desert Sunset. This is Sierra Nevada. I should probably pause my video. And I'm going to use these on top of the yellow just to add some sparkle into the look since it's pretty matte. I guess this top half can represent the flame for purification at death. Fun times. I'm gonna quickly just add a thin black liner so when we do lashes I can marry easier. I'm gonna put the rest of my base on and I will be RB. Alright so I just added on a nude lip liner. I ended up doing a small wing. Not much of a wing person as of late but now I want to get into these deeper blues. Um, this brighter blue here looks pretty much like a match for the shade Brother in the palette. So I'm just going to use some of the deeper blues in the James Charles palette for my lower lash line to have a hint of color. So I quickly cleaned off the detailer brush and I am going to start off with the shade Brother and start to pack that on the lower lash line. Bring this blue and start to blend it up to the crease colors because I like to connect my lower and upper lash line. Now I'm actually going to take a combo of Playground, which is a little bit lighter and brighter in Brother, and pack it on with an E36 and see if I get better payoff that way. Going into the shade Cola, and if that is not dark enough, I'll go into the purple Escape, even though there is no purple. Maybe we'll just cheat a smidge. All right, so I'm going to pop on some mascara. I'm going to be wearing my Ardell Wispy Lashes, and we'll be back to finish up this video and keep talking about Aries. All right, lashes are on. Glue is drying, as you can see, but I'm taking the most gloss by Dose of Colors. I love their glosses. It's just so nice, and I like this because it has a bit of a red reflect in it. So, you know, it kind of goes with the theme here, and I will be back. For you, it'll be a second. For me, it'll probably be an hour or two while my camera charges and we can get into the rest of the horoscope stuff. All right, so here is the finished makeup look. So this is just what I was inspired by. I think I did a good job of color covering most of the colors in this color spectrum for the Aries. So let me know in the comments below. Let me know what you think. What would you do? If you are in Aries, I would love to know what your color spectrum is. Um, I just Googled color spectrum for blank, so that is how you can find it. So let's go ahead and get into some more facts about Aries and educate ourselves on this. See, I wasn't filming for, I wasn't filming the majority of my face or anything. She wasn't in here, but the second she hears me in here talking to the camera, she just has to come in. As the first sign of the zodiac, see, I'm number one. The presence of an Aries always marks the beginning of something energetic and turbulent. Probably explains why I always feel like I'm yelling in my videos. Um, they are continuously looking for dynamic speed in competition, always being first in everything. 
You know, it just reminds me of Smitty Weber Ben Jager Men Jensen from Spongebob. They're like, he was number one. <laughs> I just feel like I am number one. So basically, uh, they are considered first, they want to be first in everything from work to social gatherings. Thanks to its ruling planet, Mars, and the fact that it is a fire element, it is one of the most active zodiac signs. It is in their nature to take action sometimes before they think it out. And that is what I do all the time. Ties into that impatience, man. So it also goes on to say the sun in such high dignity gives them excellent organization skills. Very true. You rarely meet an Aries who isn't capable of finishing several things at once, often before their lunch break. That is so true, especially when it comes to my career job. I'm always on top of it, always super organized, and I like to start something and finish it. So even with my videos, sometimes I'm filming two to three videos in one day, and then I sit down and try to edit those two to three videos if there's enough time in the day, if it allows me, because I just wanna start stuff, I get excited about it, and then I just wanna finish and follow through. Your challenges show when they get impatient, aggressive, and vent anger, pointing it out to other people. I spew venting all the time. So I feel bad for the people in my life because I definitely do that. The second I'm annoyed, I'm like, Ugh, I have to like talk about it and vent about it to someone. So I mean, I guess that's where the aggressiveness ties in. Strong personalities born under the side have a task to fight for their goals, embracing togetherness and teamwork. So yeah, definitely agree with that. Aries rules with the head and leads with the head, often literally walking head first, leaning forward for speed and focus. It represents are naturally brave and rarely afraid of trial and risk. They possess youthful strength and energy regardless of their age and perform at any given tasks. Aries, the flying ram, guided by the story of Golden Fleece, I feel like I'm gonna have to look into that, and Aries is ready to be the hero of the day, fly away and carry many endangered powerless people on their back. I always want to help people, like that is my passion in life, it's what I say in my career and then even here on YouTube, if I could just help somebody learn something new or make something a little bit easier or different or help give them confidence, that is why I'm on the YouTube doing what I do. So I definitely agree with that. The power of the ram is carried on his back, but he is the gold itself, shiny and attractive to those ready for betrayal. <laughs> I mean, I definitely feel like because I'm so wanting to help people, it can definitely attract the wrong kind of people that just want to use you. What can you do for me? and they never want to give anything back. I seem to find myself in that position a lot. The story of glory that isn't easy to carry is in these two horns, and if this animal doesn't get shown, shorn, allowing change and giving someone a warm sweater, they won't have much to receive from the world. Each Aries has a task to share their position, power, gold, or physical strength with other people willingly, or the energy will be stopped in its natural flow, fear will take over, and the process of giving and receiving will hold a balance at zero. That is so interesting for me. It says that Aries are tolerant of people they come in contact with, respectful of different personalities, and openness they can provoke with their simple presence. Your circle of friends is often a wide range of strange individuals, mostly in order for them to feel like they have enough different views on personal matters they don't know how to resolve. That is so true. I like being friends with people that have from different backgrounds just so I can learn more. Often they cut many of them short as in friendships for dishonesty and unclear intentions. Yes. And I, I mean, this goes back to exactly what I was saying earlier. I'm loyal to you, but the second you do something to betray me or lose my trust, I am just like, I want to be completely 100% done and just long-term friendships and their lives will continue to come with those who are just as energetic and brave to share their insides at any time. Aries often know what they want at a young age, separating from their family a bit early. Even as children, they can be hard to control. <laughs> and if they don't receive enough love and patience from their parents, all their intimate bonds later in life could suffer. A lot of anger comes from the sign of Aries. If too many restrictions come their way, like I said, my mom and I used to butt heads all the time growing up. I don't like being told no. <laughs> 
and only when they come from liberal families will they nur nurture their bonds with an easy flow. Even when this isn't the case, they will take on family obligations when they need to be taken care of, never refusing work as their pool of energy is infinite. Hello, it is hours later for me and I went out to dinner because I kind of wanted to do a black lip earlier, but I didn't want to fuss with that in eating and in lip colors. Homie, don't play that. So now that I am done and I'm going to be here for the night, I kind of want to see what a black lip would look like. And if it looks awful, you can just take it off. Since, you know, my horoscope wasn't quite clear if I should be avoiding black or wearing it. And because I'm stubborn, and if you tell me no, I'm going to do it anyways. This is why I always wear nudes because my lips are so uneven. This one goes this way and this one is more rounded. <sighs> kind of living for it because I always want to be one of those people that can pull off black lipstick so here we are we're going to pretend today let's see what other information I have for you about Aries let me do some research on Instagram I absolutely love Aries horoscopes they have them for all the different signs so just search whatever your sign is horoscopes and it should come up. So according to this, my horoscope today for Wednesday, December 12th, 2018 says put your ego aside for a moment and you might see things a little bit differently. That doesn't mean you weren't right the first time though. Perspective is everything on a day like today. So soak it up. It says that my match for today is a Taurus. My mood is thoughtful. My color today is teal, kind of, right? Um, my lucky time is 11 a.m. and my lucky number is 47. I really think that that is about it for today's video. Thank you so much for sticking with me to the end if you made it here. Here are my other videos. If you aren't caught up, be sure to check them out. Don't forget to subscribe on your way out. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, everyone.